Winter has come, Miss Greens. Jon Snow is shagging his aunt. The White Walkers have breached the wall in the north. It's time for Game of Thrones Season 8, the final season. Right now on Miscast Entertainment. Here's Johnny. I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Welcome back, you miscast miscreants, to another episode of Miscast Entertainment. And this time, we're talking Game of Thrones Season 8, the final season. With your host, straight from Miami, the armpit of America, JJ. What's up, guys? Uh, Hey, do you ever watch Hulu? And joining us today is a very special guest the master of Game of Thrones lore, and the lord of speed recaps. Man of recaps. Hey, welcome to the Man of Recaps. And this host right here, William Davis Moore. All right, well, welcome to Miscast Entertainment, Man of Recaps. It's a pleasure to have you on. Hey, I'm happy to be here. I know you guys from from way back, and uh, I'm excited with what you're doing here. And I'm excited to talk Game of Thrones, my yes. favorite thing basically in the world. Well, before we talk Game of Thrones, I'm going to pick your brain, if you don't mind. So you started your channel three years ago. Uh, what gave you the idea for that? Doing, like, speed recaps and all. Welcome to the Man of Recaps. This is all seven seasons of Game of Thrones leading up to the eighth and final season. It starts way up in the north at Winterfell. Lord Ned Stark is in command. He's the one who says... Winter is coming. He's a nice family man. Rob Stark's his oldest. His daughter Sansa's pretty. Bran likes to climb things. Arya's a tomboy. This one doesn't matter. And Jon Snow is his bastard son. No one likes bastards. Yeah. Uh, Well, I wanted to just watch a recap of Game of Thrones. And uh, I had a huge problem with everything I saw out there. People were just talking way too slow. You know, they they would have a whole minute intro where they're like, hey, thanks for coming to my channel. Today we're talking Game of Thrones. And I'm like, please get on with it. I do not have (laughs) the attention span for this. So I did it myself. I, uh, you know, part of the thing right from the beginning, I was just going to do it really quickly. Yeah, and, and I noticed in the beginning you were doing it no cuts. You just straight up like did yeah. it straight from beginning to end. Yeah. Now, did you memorize that or did you like teleprompt it? No, believe it or not, those were those were crazy days um, because I just hit record on the camera and I just, just went. And uh, yeah, the, doing it in one take was part of my whole idea at the time. You know, I thought that would be very impressive. And it yeah, was, but it was difficult because, you know... Uh, you know, you're five minutes in to a 10 minute recap and you mess up horribly. You're not going to start over at that point. You just got to power through it unless it's so bad. Um, and that's why eventually I switched to not doing one take because, um, you know, seasons one through three of Game of Thrones, when I started, I know those like the back of my hand. I just knew exactly what I was going to say. And I had spent all the time pulling the clips. So it was kind of in my head. But um, after that, it started being... I started messing up way too much. I was like, you know what? It's easier if I just cut this together after. Like four hours for a... 20 minute uh, <laughs> recap. <laughs> I think it was. I think when I was trying to do season four or, or five, actually, was the first one where I didn't do it in one take. I um, I did spend about a full day, basically, and I just never actually got a good take. And I was like, yeah, we should split this up into chunks. That'll be that'll be a lot better. The way you deliver your lines and, and the jokes and everything are freaking epic, man. They're like spot on. I love the I love the humor. I love the timing. Um, the costumes you wear are freaking awesome, man. Like <laughs> everything about it is great, dude. I mean, I actually studied for this show by watching your recaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's so cool. Thanks a lot. I'm glad you appreciate it because, um, well, I think it's, I'm amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that other people were doing it? And I, honestly, I didn't see it even being done until I saw you do it originally. And then I saw people start to copy you. And with your view count, I mean, it makes sense that you were getting a lot of exposure. But did you yeah. realize that the cast of Game of Thrones started doing speed recaps, specifically Aiden? 
Little fin- that plays Little Finger. Hi there. I'm Agent Gillen, aka Lord Peter Baelish, aka Little Finger. I am about to attempt to summarize everything that happened in season six of Game of Thrones in five minutes. Jon Snow was just betrayed and murdered by some of his men. Sir Davos and Melisandre want to try and resurrect him. We see Melisandre in her bedroom remove her large necklace and morph into a 400-year-old woman. Jon's forces, surrounded by a phalanx and a massive pile of dead bodies, win at the last moment when, spoiler alert, yours truly, Little Finger shows up with the Knights of the Vale. You can always count on me. I have seen that one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I forget which season it was, but um, it was well after some of mine were, were pretty oh, yeah. big. I, yeah. <laughs> I thought to myself, oh, they, yeah, they wanted him to do it instead of me. Something interesting, too, about, about the um, people copying my style. Uh, sure. You said I started about three years ago. Right. A lot of people don't know this little Man of Recaps trivia. I started about two years before that. My uh, really? original channel was the Man of Recaps. I dropped the the in my second iteration and uh <laughs> well they were the same videos but i just didn't censor the boobs in game of thrones i don't know why i thought i could get away with that i don't Red know man. why it didn't occur to me <laughs> um but yeah those so it lasted for two years and those also they got quite a bit of views uh but eventually yeah it was the channel was <laughs> was taken down so i had to restart it what, what are the only boobs on youtube now i think <laughs> What I was going to say true. was uh, a lot of people don't realize how impressive it is. You know, everybody like puts videos together by just kind of like jump cutting, you know, on your face. So that seems to be kind of like the latest trend. But uh, to do it all in one take, that was very, very impressive. It was fun. There was something exciting about it, you know, because, um, well, yeah, you had to you had to do it live. It was like a live performance, like theater. almost. You were wearing one time the uh, the costume from uh, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, which was freaking epic. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just recently, yeah, I'm really lucky. The, the furs. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm. Uh, I've got a lot of costumes laying around in general. Uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas one. That's so. That's a Jack Skellington uh, onesie. My yeah. brother, <laughs> who uh, was my roommate for a long time, is a collector of onesies. Like every time he goes to Target, he just like hits that onesie shelf and grabs something funny. They uh, have them so, in adult size. <laughs> yeah, they're not. Adult, adult onesies are a popular thing these days. Do like bar crawls and, and all that. Hell yeah! But uh, yeah, I've been able to. I like. I love it when I can find a costume that fits the recap. You know, I try to do that if I can, or find a, a, at least a t-shirt. Um, do you have anything else you want to say to the the fans of Miscast Entertainment? All two hundred and forty <laughs> of them. <laughs> yeah, what's up, fans? It is good, you know. Um, because it starts small sometimes, uh, but those fans are the ones that are the most exciting. You know, I've got yeah. like I've I've got what thirty uh, thirty ish thousand subscribers now, which is pretty Happy. solid. Um, but it's it's nice because anytime I post a new video, there's like the same like basically a hundred hits that I'll get almost immediately, yeah. and the same like few you know people that always like to comment and be like, yeah, hey, another video. And so I really appreciate you know those people. Um, Super the fans are a good thing piece. to have. Well, uh, yeah. what I wanted to know is um, how do you pick uh, which shows to do and, and what show are you going to do next? Ah, that's a great question. Yeah. I picked for a long time by just whatever I like. I, I only did Game of Thrones and then I finally branched out, did Walking Dead. And um, yeah, from there I was like, okay, I, need, I should actually start doing more shows if I'm going to really make a go at having Man of Recaps be a thing. Uh, so I've actually now I've got a, like a calendar and a sort of a spreadsheet. I look up online. I've looked up, you know, sort of what shows are big. And I've looked up when all the release dates are. Uh, because something, you know, that I re- realized that it takes a long time to do a recap. And uh, especially say I'm doing right now, I'm working on The 100. You guys watch that one? On the no. CW. Oh, show. yes, yes. Yeah. The ending of that was freaking crazy, man. I don't want to give any spoilers away, but, man, it was yeah. it was. That was intense. <laughs> I'm, I'm still only on season two because I'm watching through it right now. And oh, I've got, wow, uh, man. When you get to the end, you're going to trip out. I saw you I did know. the Dragon oh. Prince, too. That's a very, <laughs> like, no one no one knows about that, but it's a pretty cool cartoon, man. Yeah, it's kind of a niche show. That's something I've done, too, because, uh, you know, I like to do shows. First, importantly, is shows that are com- new season coming up soonest. You know, because right. that's really when the recaps take off is, you know, the week leading up to uh, a new season. And besides that, shows that are popular. But then I was like, hey, you know, the really popular shows, 
the recap game is big now. Um, you know, uh, if you search Game of Thrones ones, you see Games Radar's got a big one, and IGN junkies doing their cramets now. Uh, I talked to the guy from Film Cram. He's got a pretty solid um, view count on his. He's a cool dude. Uh, but, but yeah, I figured, why don't I try doing some smaller shows? Uh, the competition is less. Who knows? So I put that out there. I love sure. the Dragon Prince. I loved uh, The Last Airbender. You know, it's one of, the, one of my favorites. And uh, it's made by the same guy as the Dragon Prince. So I was like, hey, why don't I just do oh, this? It'll right take on. me. It's a pretty short one. You know, I can knock it out real quick. All right. You guys want to get into some Game of Thrones? Yes, please. I'm sure. Yes. Uh... Dun, 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 oh, dun. Yeah. This goes beyond loyalty. This is about survival. I know death. He's got many faces. I look forward to seeing this one. Everything you did brought you where you are now. Where you belong. They're coming. Our enemy doesn't tire. Doesn't stop. Doesn't feel. This is bittersweet, guys, because it's the it's the last season. Yeah. I mean, um, even with that year break, a year and a half, I still feel like it was just yesterday, and I don't want it to go away. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's attached to me like a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we left off with uh, Jamie running up to the north. Obviously, the zombie dragon blasting through the northern wall. So uh, any any speculations? <laughs> I think uh, I think the undead are going to make it to the other side. <laughs> oh, I, I, they were already across the other side. You can't talk about. That. <laughs> yep. You know, I'm I'm really sad now, actually, that we are so far. We're at the end because it's 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 really it's kind of easy to predict now what's going to happen. At least at least in the big strokes. You know, I imagine uh, that this season we will fight some White Walkers in a big battle, uh, and I imagine we will fight Cersei and her army in a big battle. And uh, I guess a lot of the details are still up in the air. But um, I miss the days back in, like, season four where anything could happen still. So you don't think there's a chance that Cersei will help uh, fight for the living? Uh, no, I, I doubt it, based on uh, what she was saying at the end there. Yeah, I think she's happy. Plus, it makes sense. That's what I would do if I were her. It's like, wait a minute, they're up in the north? I'm going to let you guys deal with that first. Divide and conquer. Well, there's yeah. a, there's this uh, there's a little clip in in the new trailer where Jamie tells her, you know, I promise to fight for the living, and that's what ex exactly what I'm going to do. I promise to fight for the living. I intend to keep that promise. Yeah. So I figure, like, that was his attempt of kind of convincing, or at least maybe that was his way of actually splitting up uh, from her faction completely. Sure, I think I think yeah. that that those two are going to murder each other. <laughs> I mean, I think it's the only way it can go down. You guys want to uh, take any bets on who's going to die? Sure. Ooh yeah. yeah. I got five bucks. Or how well, about how about a six pack of beer? It's more fun. I think uh, for me, I mean, somebody's going to die. I think several people are going to die. Um, but for me, I'm always, I think Brienne of Tarth is at the top of my list of uh, people who are going to get. Uh, Killed. Phasma Ooh. just can't get a break. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. One. Do you think it'll be like in a in a big way, or should it just like in a in battle? You know, some fall. I think she's gonna just get overwhelmed by something because I don't think anybody, nobody can beat her on a, on a one one versus one. You know, so I think it'll be uh, maybe she'll some sort of act of bravery to maybe defend Jon Snow or Arya or something, and then uh, she kind of sacrifices herself. Well, That's she's true. already taken on the Hound. Maybe she'll like take on the 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 mountain and the mountain will kill her, and then the Hound will have no, to kill dude, the mountain. No, dude, the Hound the Hound that needs to kill the mountain. You think? <laughs> yes. That that's what everybody's waiting for. That's what it's I'm. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> it's a game bowl. It's uh, 
it's a big deal. I, I think pretty much everybody's going to die. I think that uh, I even think Daenerys is going to die. I think that John is uh, what is Zora High. I, I think that everybody's misplaced with Daenerys. I think that that Khaleesi's going to go the way of the dodo. Mm. It's true. Mm, I don't know. Like uh, the happy ending is like John and Daenerys. You know, they fall in love, they get married, they rule together, and live happily ever after. Like um, and I don't think we'll get that happy ending. So no. yeah, one or both no of them way. are in danger. <laughs> No way. For yeah. Sure. So who's it going to be? I mean, I think one is going to sacrifice themselves for the other because the prophecy. Mm. Uh, th- th- I forgot what episode it is. Maybe, maybe you, you guys know, but there was an episode where they talk about the prophecy of the prince, and then uh, the prince's promised. Yeah, the the really cute uh, slave girl, the one that's um, banging a uh, gray worm. <laughs> she's uh, she's like, well, you know, right. in um, the original language, prince means male and female. I'm afraid I'm not a prince. Your grace, forgive me, but your translation is not quite accurate. That noun has no gender in High Valyrian, so the proper translation for that prophecy would be the prince or princess. Well, that makes sense because John and Daenerys together are fire and ice, you know? She's fire and he's the north, so I mean, but that's too obvious. But honestly, John by himself is fire and ice. So he could be the yeah, prince who's promised on his own. So, and I think that he's already had his death. You know, Khaleesi <laughs> hasn't really. So, uh, I think she's due. If she dies, you think she'll be converted to be some sort of like uh, white queen or something? That would be a cool twist. You have a main character come back as a white. I think that would be a fun thing that they haven't done yet. So, well, that's hopefully. that's actually the theory I wanted to talk to you guys about. I, I read Snow. this theory yeah. online about how. Uh, there's this scene in the trailer where Arya is running through like these sort of like underground catacombs that looks like it could be at the bottom of Winterfell where everybody's buried, you know? So what right. if the Night King comes and starts raising up these old people like Ned Stark and uh, uh, Catelyn um, and oh. and all and all yeah. of all of uh, the Starks just come out of the grave and freak, you know, Arya out. That would be freaking epic. Like that would yeah, be that awesome. Was- Ned's missing a head, isn't he? His head was on a pike in uh, uh, King's Landing. Oh yeah, so Ned can't but come back. Only he could have been buried with it. Oh no, no, I'm sure that head is still on that pike. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think about the six episodes only? I mean, uh, they that's, say they're going to be like that's very disappointing, man. They say they're f- going to be varying lengths, and all of them are going to feel like a feature film. So. Still, man, that's only that's only six parties you can have. That's only six like <laughs> setups you can do. You know, like fucking exactly. Friends had like twenty four episodes a season, and Game of Thrones only has six. That's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of suck. We got the prequel series coming, I guess. Right? Is is that still a thing, or is? Because I haven't heard anything about that. Uh, yeah, last that... I heard, there's definitely a few in the works. You have um, Sopranos prequel, and uh, I think a Game of Thrones prequel also. Like Valeria, that would be pretty sweet, man. Um, is it the same guys that are doing uh, the Game of Thrones now, or cause they're working on Star Wars right yeah. now? As far yeah, yeah, they're doing the Star Wars thing. Yeah, like the Old Republic, actually. Oh yeah, that. No, oh, that'll be sweet. <laughs> I'll do yeah, some I'm boobs down. in it. You know, I want boobs and murder. Boobs and lightsabers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and murder. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody got any trivia? No. <laughs> what is it? What do you got? So they modeled the I this I went through a bunch of trivia. Everybody already knows the trivia, and there's not a lot of trivia for something that hasn't happened yet, obviously. So, but the one thing that I did find was fascinating was that they modeled the behavior and the facial expressions of the dragons on geese and cats. Ha! Geese, Cat. man. Cats. That's the hissing. The <laughs> geese hiss like that. Like, but it all makes sense if you look like at the two animals together. You can see the movements. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Geese That's are really crazy, funny. man. Geese are mean as shit, dude. <laughs> and not only that, but geese have geese have tongue. Geese have uh, teeth on their tongues. Yeah. They, what? They, well, if you've ever been bitten yeah. by a goose, man, it sucks. They can yeah. really bite good, dude. <laughs> like, and they're super territorial. It's crazy. Just cover your nuts. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What are you doing to the geese, William? Cover your nuts! Cover your nuts! Yeah, that's great. That's gonna ruin the season for me. Every time the dragons show up, I'm just gonna be picturing geese. 
<laughs> They've had like a year and a half to do these special effects. I'll bet you they're so freaking awesome, man. They were great last season. Dude, that mm-hmm. dragon battle, I you know it's coming. You yeah. know it's coming. Uh, Drogon against, uh, what, Viserion? No, uh, yeah. I think, you know, obviously Drogon and Rhaegar are going to be ridden by uh, Snow and, and Khaleesi. Right? Mm. You think you think Snow's gonna Steve. jump on a dragon? Or you think yeah. he's just gonna use ghost? <laughs> What's that? Yeah, yeah. See, I think that I think that's very likely. We're definitely gonna be back like mid season to like do some uh, some more discussion on what's going on. We'll have more to say, I guess, at that point. <laughs> Are you gonna recap it all together once it's over, or no? Oh man, you know, you know, it's a tough call. I might do. Like since Game of Thrones is just the biggest show ever, you know, all of my biggest videos are just Game of Thrones. I might yeah. just do like every episode, then the full season, then the full series. Right. <laughs> That's uh, just get as many Game of Thrones videos out as I possibly can. Just keep making Game of Thrones videos until Fred just write it out. <laughs> exactly. You got Endgame coming out too, though, and that Infinity War. You almost got half a million views on that freaking thing, dude. Yeah, yeah, that that was a really big one. The full Marvel recap. Yeah. I loved that. Yeah. So that yeah, I'll probably awesome. do more of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love love Marvel too. I'm, as, I'm glad people are nerds these days, and nerd stuff is popular because nerds are I'm like, good. I'm happy to make videos about <laughs> this all day. All right. Well, it's been freaking fantastic to have you on, man of recaps. I can't yeah. wait to do it again. Um, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, JJ, for coming all the way from Miami. Oh, man, it's really hot in here. <laughs> That's going to do it, miscreants, for our pre-show of Game of Thrones Season 8, the final season. Hopefully it kicks butt, so come back in mid-season and check us out when all three of us come back to discuss what we've seen. And hopefully it's epic. Don't forget to check out Man of Recaps, who's linked in the description below. And at the end, stay for the credits. And as always, please hit up our merch section, also linked below, where we have amazing designs of entertainment and movie-related gear. We're throwing up new designs every single week, so check back often. And until the next time, winter has come. Peace. Later, guys. There was a secret marriage ceremony between Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark. They were in love. They got married. So Jon Snow's not a bastard. He's Jon Targaryen, rightful king of the Iron Throne. Wah! Hilariously, this makes Jon Snow Daenerys' nephew, but they don't know that. So on the slow boat to Winterfell, these two get it on. Yeah! Uh, and nephew incest is relatively tame for Game of Thrones, so we're all okay with it. Meanwhile, up at the wall, the White Walkers finally arrive with the army of the dead. Uh, luckily the wall's very big, they can't get over it. Unless they had a zombie ice dragon! Wow, swoops in there, breathes the blue fire all on the wall, which is powerful enough to explode and all comes crashing down. Uh, luckily, Tormund and Beric make it far enough away, we think. But the wall has fallen! The army of the dead is marching south, winter has come, it's zombie apocalypse time in Westeros, they now have a dragon, and that's how season 7 comes to an end.